Shalom. We the Hebrew Israelites out here again another weekend to prophesy the total destruction and downfall of your beloved country, America, aka Babylon, Rome, Sodom and, Sodom and Gomorrah, and Egypt. First of all, we want to give all praise, glory, and honor to the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh, Yahshua, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and much love, peace, and blessing to all the real elect brothers out there that's pushing this truth across the four corners of the globe. All right, today we're going to be dealing with, uh, this kind of like an open forum. We're going to start off with like unbelief, because a lot of people in this world and even in truth really don't even believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh's word. A lot of them just going through a, uh, through a facade or just putting on an act to make people think they believe, but really they don't believe because their faith is lack. You see what I'm saying? So, you got something? Okay. So we're going to start off with the first scripture, Romans 3 and 3. Romans yeah. chapter 3, verse 3. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Yahweh without effect? It said, verse 4. It said, Yahweh forbid. Yay. Let you have be true, but every man a liar. See? So what if you don't believe that the prophecies of Yahweh by Shimon is not real? Is that going to stop the power of the Lord? No. So what if you don't believe that the Lord is a so-called black man? Is that going to change the Lord's testimony or prophecy? No. So what if you ooh, so, like, so what if you don't believe that the Israelites are still here today? Is that going to stop the word of Yahweh by Shimon was shy? No. Because right. it said, let the word of the Lord be true, yet every man found a life. And there's a lot of people out here that is being found what? Life. Why? Because, number one, they're teaching false doctrine. They don't have faith in your house by shooting out the shot. And they're just doing it to make themselves look good. See what I'm saying? This is about your Really, the Lord gave you the blueprints to uh, what? Salvation. All you got to do is follow this book right here, and it'll lead you to what? Salvation. Just let y'all pick up a book and read the instructions on how to make a cake. It's the same way. Pick up this book, read the instructions on how to be saved out of this hell hole known as America. But you believe in Jesus Christ or uh, Jesus Christos, which a lot of you Latin people believe in, or you believe in Buddha, or you believe in the bulldog God, how can we walk together? There's no way possible. We'll never be in agreement. Why? Because you don't believe what I believe and I don't believe what you believe. See what I'm saying? And that's... And that's set up by the Heavenly Father, but it's pushed by this white man, Esau. Because Esau knows that if Israel come together in one accord, with one, one consent, and call on the Heavenly Father and have faith and believe, the Lord will come and deliver us immediately. That's right. See what I'm saying? That's why this white man has so much division, even though it's set up by the Lord. Still, this, that's why the white man is causing division amongst Israel, but he wants you to unite under his doctrine, under his gods and his philosophy. Why? To keep you further astray from the Lord. That's why he set up things like sports and television and we didn't have those. See what I'm saying? That's the biggest distraction going on right now is, is Pokemon Go. Why? To keep you further away from the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Heavenly Father, which is your salvation up out of here. That's what keeps you in doubt. That's what keeps you not believing in the Heavenly Father and His Son. Like, like the license plate said, live His Word. 
See, you got to live the Lord's word. But you can't if you doubt the Lord. What you got, bro? This is Matthew chapter 7, verse 21. It says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. Just because you say, you how about shooting you have a shot, that don't mean you're going to make it into the kingdom because you could be calling on your how about shooting you have a shot out of strife and contempt, out of contention. You just saying it just to make yourself look good or just to be popular amongst Israel instead of preaching this truth out of love and sincerity for the elect, man. Because this is not about you. The Lord didn't call you to this truth for you to exalt yourself and put yourself on a pedestal. The Lord called you because he found something worthy in you to preach his word, which should be an honor and a privilege to be chosen by the Lord to preach his word, to get these parables. These deep, dark sins. Because everybody don't have this word. Go ahead, bro. He said, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. And what is the will of the Father? Come out here and fish for the elect. Show love for your brother. Preach correct doctrine. All statutes and commandments. That's right. See what I'm saying? To love him with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul. To put your how about shit me out shot first before anything. See what I'm saying? This truth is more than what you just read in the Bible. You have to actually put this truth into action. You can't just say you're an Israelite, but you ain't trying to live this truth, man. See what I'm saying? What you got? You got something else? Uh, give me Joel. You got something, bro? I do, but go ahead. Oh, no, man. No, man. I get it. Job 32 and 8. Job 32 and 8? Yeah. No, I got it. Go ahead. I got it. Go and get you. This is Job 32 and 8. It said, But there is a spirit in man, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. So, if you're not believing in your how about she now is shot and his word, well, how do you expect to get understanding? Because the scripture tell you in Proverbs, lean not to thine own understanding. See, that only happens when you have by Shimei Shah is not dealing with you. He hasn't given you the spirit of understanding his word. And while a lot of times people wing this word because the Lord ain't dealing with them. See what I'm saying? Because you can read something in the scripture, you may think it's what it says exactly, but actually it's a parable or it's twofold. You may think just because you read water fell through the tree that that's what it said. No, that could be a parable or an allegory or a proverb, but you wouldn't understand it because the Lord is not dealing with you. Why? Because you really don't even believe in his word. Because y'all dealing with Esau, the so-called white man, and it's everybody love everybody doctor. The Lord didn't say love everybody. 